Story December has been on the mild side, and that means there's been no ice on Lake Erie. Now, typically, the Great Lakes are already at 5 to 10 percent coverage. Experts say the lack of ice can cause problems for the ecosystem. And meteorologist Matt Willoughby, he breaks down the impact. An El Nino winter doesn't only affect temperatures and precipitation on land, but it also affects how the Great Lakes work and whether it will be cold enough to freeze for the winter. It would be somewhat unprecedented having two years in a row of almost historically low ice cover uh, in, in Lake Erie. Uh, but we are seeing a higher frequency of these low ice years uh, over the past uh, decade, two decades. With the El Nino winter affecting Great Lakes this winter, what will that mean for years to come? This provides us what we think is a window uh, into a future ice-free Lake Erie. And current climate projections suggest that by the end of this century, uh, ice would be an exception in the lake rather than a regular occurrence. With little to no ice, how does this affect the ecosystem on Lake Erie? Ice cover helps to protect uh, eggs of, of fish that might spawn uh, in the fall. So one important one in the Great Lakes system are whitefish. Uh, they spawn in the fall and, and th those eggs overwinter and are protected by, by lake ice. Again, no lake ice, uh, those coastal zones get battered uh, by, by winds and waves smashing and uh, we lose that protective capacity. And what about ice fishing? Certainly a lot of communities in the north and, and places like Sandusky Bay have, have, have traditionally had ice fishing seasons. Uh, this is a big detriment to those areas. Some of those areas rely on this as a source of income uh, to sustain themselves throughout the year. With no cold snaps in the future forecast, the Great Lakes will continue to struggle with forming any ice. Reporting in Toledo, I'm meteorologist Matt Willoughby for W2L 11.